I don't know what to say. Um, uh, the, the fact that this is one of my best friends, and that I have watched him grow into an awesome fighter and awesome martial artist since he was a wee boy about this time, seriously. And I am very proud of him. And it's an honor for me to be here on this day to meet Black Belt. You know, it's like Danny likes to see his things get done through, and this is just a very monumental thing for him. And you know, this gives my buddy, if we're chilling in the basement or like writing a new movie or we're doing something, or a bunch of black kids working out, whatever like that, he just he gives everything his 110 percent. And I think if anything, he deserves this definitely. So, my friend, congratulations. I hope to see you achieve many more things like this. Give me a hug, please. Woo! Hug it up, Dan. Hug it up, brother. Good job, man. And we're going to kill it after this. John? It's very nice, bro. Get your fingers out of your nose. Dan, you're a black belt now. You should punch him right in his face if he says that to him. Just do it, man. <laughs> I guess um, to start off, I'm, I guess it's really important to know what Dan has achieved outside of his black belt. Dan is also an Eagle Scout, which he achieved last year, which is the highest ranking system in the in the scouts in the scout systems. On top of that, Dan does extremely well in school. He's on honor roll. He does do, he does really well in school. He's a student at Caldwell College. He's a part of the youth he's part of the youth ministry at Holy Family Parish. And on top of all that, Dan's now achieving something that many people do not achieve, and that's a black belt. One thing that I always noticed about Dan is what Rob said it perfectly. Dan has to see things through. Dan has that kind of diligence where he needs to always achieve the outside of what he has to always go for it and not stop and just keep uh, in a sense, just keep building upon his martial arts or anything else. He sees it through. And that kind of consistency and that kind of diligence is something that's very hard to find. We live in a time where people give up on everything. Like, oh, I, I feel bad about this, I'm not good at it, I give up. Dan's kind of mental strength and attitude is what brought him here today. And I want to tell you something, a little, a little, a little something uh, that really chokes me up about today. When Dan came into the dojo, Dan was extremely hard on himself. Dan was so hard on himself that he was almost, it was almost worrisome for an instructor to see what he was doing. And for, for some time, when I was a beginning instructor coming in, it was, I would always see Dan, I would say, Dan, you have so much potential, why can't you see it yourself? And Dan would always say, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. And then as the years progressed, as time went by, when come in, Dan would just come into martial arts and just go out there and give everything he's got. And that's why today, he's, he, go, he grapples in tournaments, he's a part of the elite competition team in our school, and on top of all that, he's a great student. And that's why you're here today, man. And I'm so proud of you as an instructor, as an friend, and I just wish you the best for everything. Because this is, and I'd like to add one thing, this is not the end, this is only the beginning. Black Belt is only one of many ranks you'll ever get. You have to keep excelling beyond what you're capable of. So, Daddy, I'm just really happy for you. I wish you the best of luck. I gave everybody an opportunity to train and get their curriculum on. So I said, I'm going to come in on Saturday, and anybody who wants to get ranked can come in and get ranked. And I was there for three months straight, and the only person who showed up was Dan. <laughs> so every single class that you take with uh, one instructor is basically a private lesson. It's worth about three classes. So in that time period, he probably got about 40 classes worth. And today, he came up to me and he said, you know, I'm excited about today, but I don't know if I deserve it. And I can tell you that there's nobody in the school that deserves it more than you, because there's nobody in the school that has worked harder than you have to get to where you are. And, you know, my father actually passed away. But the one thing that he said to me that's the most important thing in life is hard work. And the one thing that I admire more in life is hard work. So today you're getting a black belt. The first black belt that you get is the only time you're ever going to get your first black belt. And this was my first black belt. 
and this is something that I only have once in my life. And I admire your hard work so much, and I think that you deserve this more than anybody else in the world so much that I want you to have. It. I meant to say too, by the way, hold on, I gotta throw it out there. Danny is not just a black belt on the mat, he's a black belt in life. That was my thing, I did not say it the whole time. But I really do mean it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Today we're here for Dan to get his black belt. So the question is, in everybody's mind, everybody says, well, we know what a black belt is. The assumption is that a black belt is a certain thing, it's a certain level. But it really isn't. What a black belt is, is an indication of how far somebody has come. Not the destination, but the journey. And that journey is different for everybody. Some students are very good at certain, certain areas, so they excel very quickly. And in other areas, they struggle. Some students struggle through the whole thing. Okay? Some struggle through nothing. But the work is not any different. The belt is what the person gets. You don't get to the rank of black belt like it is a certain spot. Because it is not. It's an individual thing. So this belt that Dan's getting today is a symbol, really, of all of the hours, all of the sweat, all of the times, all of the times it didn't work and you didn't quit. All of the times that you fell on your face and you got back up, and the times you won and the times you lost. Because it's not when things go well that we're really measured. It's when things go badly that we're really measured. Because it's the guy who gets up when it didn't go well and keeps going that is the ultimate success. Because there's many people in life that fall and never get up. The streets are full of them right now. The Kushner belongings around the shopping bars. They never got back up because life knocked them down. Black belt, to me, means that you have demonstrated to all of your peers that you are that type of person. The type of person that doesn't quit, that doesn't give up, that sees an obstacle, and in that obstacle, he sees the challenge and goes for it and overcomes it. I could not be prouder to see you get Welcome today. Congratulations. Okay, Danny, you had a lot of people here today uh, wishing you that you know, they're very happy that you're here coming through and you're getting your black belt. And it is some type of a, of a completion, actually, to get that. But I also want to say that the very few moments in life that any of us are kind of put in a position where I would say, you know, where it gives us hope. Where we see somebody and, and that person just gives us and inspires us all. And that's such a beautiful thing. I mean, there's, I mean how many times in life do you, are you, are you in, a, in a position where you can put other people and inspire everyone around you? And that is a beautiful thing. It's an incredible thing to be able to do that. I think you deserve this black belt more than just about anybody in this room, myself included. Okay? Uh, I think uh, I've seen I've seen so many times, Danny, too, that, that uh, even that just what the Jewish was saying and what, uh, just to mention what Mr. Hannity was saying, that you might have had a hard time doing a move, okay? But you didn't give up. And you made it work, you worked harder and harder and harder and harder until you got that move. And you know, as an instructor, we're happy to help you. And a lot of students, they just, they're just too hard on themselves. So they give up. But you, Danny, you never give up. Okay? You have that, you have that indomitable spirit, okay? A spirit that inspires us all. Okay? You're a person of character. You're a man. And I'm very proud to know. Okay, so today we're going to put this uniform top on you. 
Yoshiani, we're going to tie this belt around you. And first don actually means first man. Uh, that's, that's the interpretation. So black belt means first man. Okay. Yeah, let's watch that skate too. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Take a step forward. We don't want to step. We don't want to. Yeah. Tyler's very worried about, about that big tempo. Be careful with Tyler. Yeah. Very proud. I just see the ego. Belt, you fit a little better about 20 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not. Leave, leave my uh, stomach alone. <laughs> okay, now, now that we had you put it on. We're going to take it off. We're going to have you take it off. <laughs> <laughs> we get pictures with the belt on? This is how we do things. <laughs> the black belt is just going on there you want. Hold on, we got to help him tighten the knot. Dan, get up and help him tighten this knot. Yeah. Can I help? Oh, well. Guys, I don't know if you guys know too, uh, I don't know if everybody knows, but Kiyoshi was my instructor when I was Danny's age, okay, earlier than when I was Danny's age, and he's still my instructor, okay, so, you know, a, a, a black belt or an instructor is just a, a, an instructor martial arts along. Okay. Okay. Kyoshi is also an instructor in life as well. So, Kyoshi, you can't have the honor to say please. Uh, I know that I know that belt noise. <laughs> I said blood. I said blood. I said blood. I said blood. I said I said blood. 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 I said Kyoshi son either guys. So you have, you have to realize there's a lineage that's been pushed down. Okay, so uh, um, excellent guy, excellent job. Great. Guys. Just made me a great grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. Can we bow. Alright, so let's do the. Uh, you know, let's get a picture of the black belts together. Bow. Oh, and and just the black belts. And then, and then Wait, I need to give. Actually, Jerry, you should be in here. Yeah. Crouch down so we can Okay, there we go. Step back, guys. Post our black belt. There we go. One more. Hang on. We can't feel. We'll have to photoshop Dad and Mom, yeah. why is this like a twin? Jerry and Dan. Yes. We're going to put a little bit of a question. I never saw a camera like that. Yeah, yeah. Peter yeah. Bottle Jelly. Peter Bottle Jelly. Let it go. Well done, Dan. Let me see a smile. There you go. There you go. How about one? No, no, don't, smile. Don't, don't smile. Don't smile. Don't smile, man. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. I told you don't smile. Look up. Look up. Come on, look up. Sit up. That's a good one. That's a good one. Good. <laughs> <laughs> now it's much less visionary when you throw the new black belt. So, it's too close.
Yeah, now we all gotta throw your sizes to the mat, so. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be grateful for it. Hold on, hold on. John has a request. I have a request. I, uh, I think it would be great if everyone stood up in traditional martial arts and we bowed at the end. Just show respect. I, 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 I need a black belt. All right. Get up here, please. Get up here. Let's go. I'll be in the spot. Aww. Congratulations, bro.